my house thinking of you. Okay, this is going to be a video about how a wind vane works. Pay attention because there will be a test afterwards. So, this is a Rube Goldberg type of contraction, contraption, and it steers the boat, utilizing the wind. Now, we'll start from the front, or the top. That is the vane. And at the moment, the wind is coming from over there somewhere. And that means, if you look closely, you'll see that the vane is actually got its edge turned that way. That's the leading edge of the vane right there. The leading edge. So if the wind is blowing directly on that edge, the vane will stand upright. If the wind is not directly on it, it will move either forward or backward. When it moves forward or backward, there's a hinge right here, a fulcrum. And you can see that fulcrum is a little pin, a clevis, which is connected to a rod. Now, the rod, depending on which way the vein goes, will now either go up or down. Down there, in the gut of this thing, you see when the rod goes up and down, it moves another pin up and down. That other pin is connected to what in reality is like a rack and pinion steering, meaning there's two sets of gears. These things are actually curved. So when that rod moves upwards, for example, the teeth on it grab hold of some other teeth and turn that thing slightly. And when it turns slightly, it's like a little rudder. The water pressure then moves it from one to one side. In this case, you can see it moves all the way out to that side. When it moves to that side, it is pulling on that piece of rope. This is a strange thing. That piece of rope goes up through here, comes across here, goes through that pulley there, across to those pulleys there, comes around across those pulleys there, and onto this drum here on the wheel. Now, when that tightens, the wheel turns. She just turned a tiny bit. Now, one of the marks of a really good sailor, a good sail trimmer, is being able to trim his sail so the boat virtually sails itself, which is what we're seeing here because you see the wheel's not moving very much. So the boat's sailing more or less itself. This is called a wind vane. And it uses no electricity. And this is an Aries wind vane. The particular one you see here is very old. It's probably at least 30 years old. Um, it was invented, the Aries was, uh, I think the first real production line of wind vanes was by a guy named Nichols Britt. He started building them in the 60s, the early 60s. Before that, there were wind vanes, but these things people built one at a time by themselves. So this is probably 30 years old, works just fine. Uh, as you can see, it, it really is Rube Goldberg with all kinds of things. You steer by these, so you pull on this and that turns the vane a little bit, uh, the wind vane, and, and we turn the wind vane a little bit. Now, the leading, the wind will come in and force that to move, and the boat will turn until everything's back in equilibrium again. And actually, this does a very, very, very good job. So, test in five minutes. Prepare yourself. <laughs> 